Hello people, and welcome back to part 30, 40, 45 of Big Easy, the city's Skylines Build Guide. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, the little kind of detail uh, exposure that we did uh, before today's episode uh, was the recent discovery of how beautiful the elevated zoo paths look uh, within your city. Uh, we discovered this on the live stream on Saturday night, thanks to everyone that stopped by. Uh, we had a really good time, lots of people getting involved, and uh, the whole stream is uploaded to the channel if you want to go and see it. Uh, and we'll just quickly run over what we've done before we kick off with what we're going to be doing today. So huge thank you to uh, Matthew Howard, uh, and there was another one as well, I think. I'll pop the comments up on screen now. Uh, of suggesting of adding in a zebra crossing directly opposite the monorail and train hub. This has worked tremendously. Uh, we now have everybody using the bridges rather than walking around the edge of the road. Uh, to come and go from the tram interchange and uh, yeah this place is looking really really nice now definitely a huge huge fan of these uh, elevated zoo paths uh, they do look really really great and this area is coming together nicely we've also begun to rework the highway that flows through here where we bottleneck into a six lane road here this will be deleted and we will carry on with two separate highway roads and then they will eventually connect into here. As you can see, this side is struggling pretty bad at the moment. Uh, so, you know, we will be um, rebuilding this into a, quite a fancy uh, bridge interchange based off the George Washington Bridge in New York uh, to help facilitate the flow of traffic into different areas of the Riverside downtown when we do return here, prepare for another part. Uh, but yeah, and we also redesigned uh, the city entrance. So now to get off the highway, we have... Um, I, have an, I guess it's a an oval or a circular rectangle. I don't know what that shape is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we, we put this in. If you remember, it was just um, a regular road where they had to stop at lights. Uh, so now traffic is flowing much more smoothly through this area. Uh, also popped in a roundabout to design uh, the city entrance. Again, using the elevated zoo paths. And it just looks so so good i'm really really happy with it and everyone liked them as well and we've also added in um, a little bit of green and renewable housing i'm definitely going to do uh, a modular build episode and how you can implement something like this uh, but if you guys want to see it being built uh, go ahead and check out the live stream uh, but yeah really happy with this area turned out got some nice schools in here as well a uh, nice forestry kind of a bit of overgrowth a little bit of rock features and we also added in uh, some nice large rocks around the base of the railway bridge. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of beach detailing. And uh, we'll kind of carry this theme on uh, at a number of points along the beach as well. So this area is really coming together nicely. And you guys uh, really seem to be enjoying it as well. Let me turn off my day-night cycle while we build. And in today's episode, as you've already guessed by the title, uh, I wanted to begin work on our theme park. And I think we've got this kind of nice shape here. And then probably up to the tram building as well is where we're going to have the theme park. And uh, yeah, this should be quite fun to build. So let's get rid of these schools right now because these guys um, are in the way. And I want to integrate monorail into the theme park. I think that'll look really, really cool. And um, because we've already built a theme park in the city, uh, kind of right over here. It's probably been a while since you guys have seen it. Yeah, so we have this thing over here. Uh, we built this way back when. And uh, it's, it's not great, you know, it's, uh, it's got a lot of kind of empty spaces in it. It's quite small and cute. Lots of nice kind of tiny rides and, you know, we get people coming around here. But, you know, it's um, it was really just a purpose to unlock all of the theme park buildings, which we now have. Uh, so we're going to be able to build a theme park uh, as we like it. So let's kind of pan in uh, the monorail here. I want this thing to kind of flow in and around. Um the amusement park and I think we're going to have it pretty much in the middle so let's just kind of map out where we want this to sit and we are going to have uh, a station in the middle of here so I think probably under the railway bridge would be uh, a good spot for this possibly there let's see where we can possibly connect this up with the road I'd probably say there. That's going to be um, a nice little spot for it. So let's uh, bring this guy back a little bit. And then we'll make sure that we get a nice kind of smooth descent 
uh, down into the monorail station. I think that's a little bit kind of uh, too severe almost. Let's come back and make sure that we're kind of gradually ascending rather than instantaneously. That's a little bit smoother. That's fine for me. Okay. And then we'll kind of round out this monorail line as it approaches the road. Let's make sure we have a nice straight angle here. And then what we'll do is at the end of this side of the road, uh, we're going to have like a monorail with bus hub. Uh, when we begin to start kind of this suburbia that will be uh, filling in these fields that we have over here. We'll have a monorail with bus hub and probably a train station here as well. Uh, so it's kind of like a mini transport hub for getting back and to from the downtown. So that should look pretty cool as well. Let's go ahead and paint out our park area. Uh, oh, which I've oh, actually already done in preparation for this. I am uh, more prepared than usual. <laughs> uh, so I think we'll have a one-way system flowing in and out of this monorail station. So let's go ahead and draw him in. Let's have a little look as where we want this to flow. Okay, so we can come out here. And I think we'll have a little bit of a curve. And then we can actually just curve nicely into there. So that's fine. So I don't really want the cars coming out at this junction. It's just going to put more strain on it. So I think we'll switch the direction of the one way to actually flow in this side. And then we'll let them distribute out. Uh, let's kind of bring this guy down on a nice right angle. And then we'll get some nice freeform road tools. And uh, see if we can get a nice straight join up here. Yeah, that should do nicely. Okay, so that's going to give us a really nice kind of monorail station and um, within the middle of the theme park. Now, I do know that people will be able to enter the theme park um, without having to pay, but I'm not really bothered about this part being leveled up. Um, it's really just here for kind of decoration. Uh, so we need to uh, kind of make the main gate right now. And I think kind of this point here is going to be the best place for it. Let's have a junction that comes out here. And then we'll come across. And let's have a look how big uh, this main gate is. So three each side is perfect. That's going to be nice and parallel. And that's going to give us a nice little introduction uh, into the theme park. Fantastic. So because we have already the big assets unlocked, like the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel, I find it a good way to kind of plan out a bigger theme park like this, is to go ahead and place in your larger assets first. So that's what we'll do. I think we'll have the roller coaster right up alongside the monorail. I think that'll look really, really cool. Let's have that in there. Uh, and then what else can we use here? Uh, we have the Ferris wheel, which is kind of the second biggest asset. Maybe um, maybe in here, that might look quite good. Let's kind of have it facing uh, the railway. How's that looking? Yeah, okay, so we have the Ferris wheel uh, right by the train tracks and the monorail. I think that'll be all right. Uh, then we have the pendulum ride, which of course is uh, fairly chunky as well. Uh, let's kind of plan things in and around the monorail. Maybe we can have the entrance to this uh, kind of come underneath the monorail. I think that'll be quite cool. I don't think that's... Um, that's okay with health and safety, having the pendulum so close to the monorail, it is swinging the other way. So we should be okay. Uh, and then we have the drop tower ride. Now let's kind of plan uh, for this guy here. Maybe something over here too. Let's see what kind of space we've got going on. I think over here uh, would be another good shout. Let's have this face in this side and we'll kind of drop it in about there okay so right now it looks a little bit kind of fragmented and, uh, and not too pretty so we also have a bunch of other kind of assets used as well the house of horrors bumper cars swinging boat 
rotating teacups, etc. Picky train. But rather than kind of just place them on their own, what we're going to do is make little plazas um, around each of these larger assets, and then we'll we make um, kind of those other attractions uh, fit into that. So let's come ahead straight away and kind of hook this guy up. I actually think we're going to move this. Uh, I don't want this right here. So as we come into the amusement park, I want them to almost hit like a little plaza where there's like kind of a shop and um, maybe like a restroom kind of kind of thing. So let's bring this guy out a little bit to uh, 100 from there. Let's just uh, snap to road length and the angle. There we go. Okay, so let's see what kind of smaller assets we have to play with. So there's the plaza, a cafe, a souvenir shop, and a restrooms. So these seem like good things to kind of uh, walk into the amusement park. So maybe we can have the plaza. Uh, kind of the first thing you see as you walk in. And uh, this guy is going to need power. So let's start thinking about uh, some commercial along the front here. Probably in here too. And then right up along here. Let's get some nice commercial blocks in. Uh, and then here as well. Okay. So they walk into the amusement park. First thing they see is the plaza. Uh, so I think we'll actually draw in uh, the path to kind of um, encompass this. It's nice and surrounded. That's fair enough. Uh, and then we'll have the cafe. Where do we want the cafe to sit? Cafe actually fits in perfectly here. Maybe a couple of cafes. Kind of as you enter. That's going to give us lots of nice symmetry. Everything nice and tight together. Which is uh, what we want. Uh, then we have a souvenir shop. Uh, I guess we could have a souvenir shop kind of here. What I'm going to do is draw a path out from there. Because I know... We're going to want to kind of head in that direction. So we'll have the souvenir shop kind of on the corner as they leave um, and arrive at the same time as well. I think that would be pretty cute. Uh, and then finally we have uh, the restrooms, uh, which we can also place in right up along here as well. Actually, I think we'll make a little, um, a little more importance out of this. Let's bring uh, a little path down. So one without trees. So really, when you're kind of building these um, these amusement parks and kind of the different theme parks that come with the Park Life DLC, uh, just kind of think about, you know, you wouldn't kind of just keep placing them one after one after one along the path. Uh, you'd almost have like little individual areas uh, of where all these things would sit. So, you know, you come down this little side path and then there's kind of a couple of restrooms um, just around the back in case you need to call in on your way in or out of the park. And then we can also place them uh, in different areas uh, of the park as well as we kind of expand it around. Alright, so let's focus on hooking up this main asset of the roller coaster park. And uh, I wonder, should we put some small side gates in, I wonder? Uh, this is the, the side gate, isn't it? So we could have one in here, I suppose. How about the other side? Will it work there? Yeah, it will. Okay, maybe we will place in a couple of side gates then. Maybe we can do that. It's going to be too close though, isn't it? No problem. Let's, uh, let's just move him over a tile. There we go. That should be fine. And then we'll draw this guy up again. And I'm just going to go to my freeform tool. Got a little bit of a curve there. And then up alongside the roller coaster. It's about there. That should be alright. It's actually not that back a little bit, so we can come in uh, as tight as possible around the back end of the roller coaster. And we'll also have um, just come out a little bit further, just so we can move past this monorail post. And then we'll probably just kind of box him in up to a point there. And then hooking back up like that. So that's going to give us a nice little uh, kind of intersection for pedestrians to move around the park. Okay. 
uh, and then maybe a little bit of uh, commercial in here. I get a nice little shot going on that along here as well. So we're mixing our zoning with the parks. You know, this isn't new stuff. We've done this before. Uh, mixing in zoning with park life areas, and this is really what I'm kind of after. Just nice, small, little, cute shops uh, that do fit the theme of the park that we're trying to build here. Okay. So let's have a little look, see here, at what else we can build. Um, so I think with the Ferris wheel, I'm happy to have the Ferris wheel without a main gate because if we do put them in here, um, let's see. It won't let me um, pop it in here. Yeah, so I think we just can we uh, grab one in there maybe. We can have one in here. How does that look? Kind of as a side gate. Okay, let's move this Ferris wheel around a little bit, and then we'll have one that comes through here. We'll also have some elevated paths through here as well, which will look pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then let's bring him together with a simple path. And again, I'm just going to box him in, or maybe not with this one. I might just have him like that, and then kind of surround it with some trees. And uh, maybe a little more commercial zoning along here as well. Let's get a nice big one in there. Uh, not one in there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll kind of leave him to kind of develop and we'll see uh, how he turns out. So we'll plop in another uh, side gate here as well, which I don't think looks too bad. Maybe actually, can we get these facing one another? Let's, uh, let's try that. Uh, yeah, we probably can. So let's shift them around. I bet it's not going to line up perfectly, is it? Oh no, yeah, yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. Okay, and then we connect him up there like that, and then we'll just draw it out in front as well, at least to the point where it won't connect to the road. There we go. And then again, we can see we've got some spaces here now, so maybe like a souvenir shot, like you know. You can buy like a Ferris wheel t-shirt here, and uh, also a restroom as well. Okay, it's just going to help flesh out that area uh, a little bit, and also add value to your park. Okay, so now we have this thing over here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, some more paths. And I think because we're kind of on the main track here, leaving the gate, uh, I am going to stick to uh, the version with trees. Okay, let's come out a little further. Keep angle snapping on, probably to about there. And then I want to make sure that we can draw in uh, a path in front of here. Let's make sure angle snapping is off. Just like that. So that's going to connect the guy up. And then we can actually come out from here. Let's have a uh, road guidelines on. there and then like that okay that's not a bad start I don't think uh, yeah I think we'll have more commercial zoning right up along here don't want to really put too much on the one-way road I know we've got some over here and it actually doesn't look too bad maybe we could have some some of the larger ones filled in perhaps over here as well, leave that free. Yeah, and that's just going to help integrate a couple of different shapes and colours uh, into the area, like this building right here, for example. Nice, uh, bright, colourful general store. Uh, yeah, it's just going to help blend our theme park into the area a little bit more. Uh, okay, let's focus on some more on some uh, some other assets and then what we could possibly place in this area. Uh, I think we'll kind of have a little bit of a pathway that circles around the monorail pole. So 
does look like it's integrated into the park. You know, they've kind of um, built around these little things. Let's come out of here again as well. And then up to there. Although I think these ones here should be uh, the ones without trees, maybe. Just so it doesn't look as though the monorail was going to be like crashing through the trees to... To, to get there. I think that's okay. Uh, let's actually create that monorail line so we can uh, see the uh, different people kind of coming across. So we're on this one here. Let's create a new line there. And over here. And here. Okay, so that's going to start generating some monorail traffic to come in and out of the new transport hub, which will look really cool. be really cool to see them kind of flow in right past the air, uh, the, the roller coaster here. That's going to look really sweet. Uh, okay. So yeah, let's have a look at some more assets. Let's see what we have to play with. Uh, okay, so that's the restroom. So these game booth tiles, um, you know, they kind of mirror each other. You can see them here. You can make like, um, like a full circle out of them. I kind of like this. So you can kind of create like semicircles and kind of like three quarter circles or full circles if you'd like. So let's do uh, something with those. Um, I think we're actually going to move this again uh, to flow. Okay, let's move him a tiny little bit to the right. And we're going to pop him about there. Let's actually delete those paths for the moment and we'll let's make sure we get this guy as right as possible. I think maybe at an angle like that would probably be best. It's all about just kind of playing and figuring out uh, what does and doesn't look good to you. So we can kind of come to a point here and then let's create a little shape out of these game booths. So we have this one here and this one. Let's have a look at the two of them. So they're pretty similar apart from this guy has uh, a tree in the middle and uh, kind of a couple of different arcade machines on the side. Well, I think what we'll do is just use all the same one. So let's create four of them. Uh, so if this was to be the kind of first half of the circle we'd have one there and then a right click of the mouse will rotate for you so we are going to actually need a path through here first of all and let's bring him into there and then the same thing again this side spin him round so you know doing stuff like this rather than just placing them uh, kind of a longer path as you kind of level up and expand. It just makes it a lot more interesting, uh, in my opinion. Thanks to everyone that stopped by the stream as well. Uh, we had a really, really good time. I'm glad everybody else enjoyed it as well. Okay, this guy is irritating me. Let's uh, pop him out. And yeah. So it's already a much more interesting thing as opposed to just kind of doing that and then leaving it, you know. Let's draw that path back in. Just like that. And that is actually going to connect uh, all four of them, which is going to be nice. We're we'll drawing some fences around here as well. So uh, our people kind of don't get uh, lost or anything. And then let's bring one down here. Again, continuing that. What do we have over here? We have the souvenir shop and the restroom. Uh, so maybe um, a cafe on this side too. And that's going to fill out that little area uh, quite nicely. Although we don't want that to happen. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get people coming in for free, which again, I'm not bothered about. But um, you know, just for the sake of trying to keep it nice, we'll uh, we'll do that. How much nicer is this looking? Yeah, quite liking that so far already. And we do actually have people at the monorail stop. 
47 last week. And there's four on the line. Let's, uh, let's watch them come off. There they go. Fantastic. Very good. I'm happy to see the monorail station uh, getting some traffic. That's, uh, that's really good to see. Uh, how are our plazas doing? Yeah, a few, a few people. It's mainly mascots at the moment. Uh, how is this place doing? If anyone wants to name uh, the amusement park, please feel free to uh, drop a name in the comments. I'd be happy to let you guys kind of have a shot at it. Uh, okay, so I was talking about um, an elevated pathway. Let's have a look to see if we can implement this. So I'm thinking kind of straight through here and then joining up with this side. So let's have a look at how we can kind of implement that. Okay, so to kind of change the elevation step. Oh, no, not that. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a regular road, regular path, and bring the elevation step down. Uh, and then let's grab the amusement park path. So, let's kind of plan out how we want this thing to flow. Okay, so I think we'll delete this. Because he's just going to be getting in the way. And then let's kind of drag him through. Okay, so there is just a very, very small sweet spot where we can squeeze through. But you can usually find uh, a place. Let's delete the souvenir shot. And then come through like this. And then cross the road. Okay. And then kind of come in here. I'm having some nice angles to generate as well. Uh, it's like you'll actually need to be stretched all the way through in one go. Otherwise, you won't be particularly happy. Okay. And then let's bring them down here. And then we'll begin to have all our snapping on as we make a little bit. Of a, of a ramp for this guy to descend from. So let's bring him out here. And then we're going to come out by three. Should be enough, maybe a little smaller, maybe two. Where's that looking? And then just hook him straight up. So I just need to bring this guy around a bit. Just kind of play with your angles until you find something that you're happy with. Obviously bring him down to the floor there. And then hook him straight up like that. Okay, I'm not particularly happy with how that turned out. So let's just... Kind of hook up to there again. And then we are actually on the level here, aren't we? So we can now just look up like that. Let's rework this angle ever so slightly. Just so we don't have any kind of weirdness going on. And then we'll turn off all our snapping again for this. Just to come as tight into the gate as possible. And then join across. That's going to give us a nice little kind of... Almost like a mini trumpet interchange, isn't it? <laughs> and I know it's nice and kind of zigzaggy. It's very fun. And uh, yeah, so let's bring this guy down on the opposite side here. And let's kind of begin to descend down. And then hook him up to there. So now people can get across from one side of the park to the other without having to walk. And it's going to give us a nice um, variation of height in the theme park as well. It's going to help make it feel a lot more alive, which is going to be nice uh, as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's place a couple more assets and then we'll dive into a little bit of detailing and uh, kind of uh, round this place off. So we've used the game booth. Let's have a look what else we have. We do have the carousel, the piggy train, and the rotating teacups. So let's make something out of these three. They're all pretty similar assets. Uh, so we've got kind of a lot of empty naked space over here, haven't we, that we haven't really done anything with. Let's bring a 
path through there like that and then place some of these assets in so let's go for kind of the carousel to be the main feature we'll have this guy up along there followed by the piggy train which can kind of chill out within these blocks over here uh, then we have the rotating teacups uh, which are kind of fairly small so maybe we can have them uh, along the side like that and then let's kind of plan out where we want this path to flow through let's actually delete this one just for right now and then we'll come out at an angle up to here Okay, just keep playing with your angles until you find something uh, that you're happy with. Let's bring them up to there. And that should allow us to hook back in. Okay, so we've got some kind of weird, strange spaces around right now, but that's something that we can fix um, with the detailing anyway. Uh, let's not have a restroom in here. Let's have a souvenir shop. Yeah, we did actually delete the souvenir shop from uh, over here, didn't we? Is there anything else we can fit in here now? Um, Maybe a cafe. Yep, cafe will work. Let's get that in there. Wonderful. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm not kind of sure how I feel about these along here. But yeah, that's going to be a good place, guys, to go ahead and jump into detail and time lapse. And then add some nice trees and rocks to this area and make it feel uh, a little more fun and get rid of some of these kind of empty green spaces. Uh, so we'll be right back. Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a, lot, a dislike as well. Hopefully you can see how combining a bunch of kind of major theme park assets can really help them stand out in amongst all the other stuff that you can place and help create little focus points uh, within a theme park that you can place within the downtown area. Uh, and I really like the path that flows over the top from side to side as well. It helps create just a different layer as opposed to just placing it all on the ground. But yeah, it turned out well, and uh, yeah, it'll definitely bring a lot more people to this area, 
and then the monorail station is getting a touch of use as well. Uh, stick around for the rest of the outro Taj and uh, check out this place at night alongside some of the finer details that you saw in the time lapse. And uh, yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments and uh, let me know if you can think of any improvements uh, for this area. But otherwise, I will leave you alone. Thank you so much for watching and all the support recently. It is more than appreciated. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.